Welcome back to Friday Football Fever. When you talk high school football rivalries, nothing is bigger than the city of Sarasota than a Sarasota Riverview game. A matchup with so much history, Comcast Sports South even televised it. Both teams won't be going to the playoffs, but this season, I got to tell you, it does not matter because it's like a playoff game. Here we go. Let's get right to the action. The Rams on their home turf and the Rams taking advantage of the fifth play from scrimmage. It's Joe Evans breaking free 55 yards for the touchdown. It's 7-0 just that fast. As for the Sailors offense, big man Desmond Hurley picking up 16 yards to move the chains. And then here is the big fella once again, 10 hard yards, but no points turnover and downs. We go into the second quarter and it's who? Yep, that guy Evans, 35 yards this time. He had 134 yards rushing at that point. Moving on, Sailors get on the board. It's Sean Hurley taking it himself, 10 yards score, 10 yards on the score, 13-6 at this point. Three minutes before the half, John Evans breaks free again. His third touchdown, 52 yards out. Fourth quarter, here we go. The Sailors making a comeback, 21-6. Well, they cut into that lead as Sean Hurley hooks up with Luke Page, five-yard score. They go for two and get it, but they would fall short as Dan Grachowski kicks a 38-yard field goal, as you are witnessing right here. He splits the uprights, and the Rams prevail in the city rivalry. At the two missed field goals um, uh, uh, really hurt, and then finally we made the other one, and we had two touchdowns call back. If we don't have the two touchdowns call back, we're not, it's not a nail-biter, but I'm proud of our kids. They played hard. You know, I thought we had a goal line stand there, but real, you know, I mean, this is a big rivalry. Good game, good crowd, good atmosphere, good everything. The typical Riverview Sarasota game in the aspect that it's a tough, hard-hitting game, big plays. You know, tough on our kids. Our kids came out and fought hard the whole night. And it just seems to sum up our season coming up short like that. Let's keep the rivalry going. Port Charlotte versus Charlotte. And in this one, the, uh, the team gave uh, those who were wounded in the Texas shooting at Fort Hood a moment of silence. Uh, former Tarpon uh, Justin Johnson also wounded a former football player, so they wanted to dedicate this game to him and Mike Bellamy showing him how to do just that. A 40-yard touchdown run, 7-0 in the first quarter. The push-up fellas doing what they do, and they would do a lot of push-ups in this game because Bellamy is free once again, and once he gets open space, you see the end result. This time a 60-yard score. And it is 14-0, 422, still in the first quarter. Poor Charlotte offense, not happening. Bat it down, pass, and then they try to punt it away, not happening. Bat it down, Tarpons take over right there, and who gets it? You guessed it. Cinco, five, Bellamy, score, 51-7, Tarps, the final. Now, if you missed the scores of any of the games that took place, we've got you covered. Here's a look at all the scores on our Friday Football Fever scoreboard. All right, we have to step away for another quick commercial break. When Friday Football Fever returns, Herald Tribune sports writer Doug Fernandes will join me in studio to talk about some of the big games from tonight. Stay with us. 